Good morning, everybody. Hope you are doing great today. So together we will work on this problem today. Says uh, radioactivity, radioactive radium has a half-life of approximately 1,599 years. The initial quantity of a small sample of radium is 15 grams. How much will be left from that sample after 750 years? So how do we solve this problem? Since it's a decay problem, we can write the quantity of radium left after decay, decay for 10, for T years as Y is equal to C times E to the power of KT, okay? Where C is a constant and K is also constant, is constant. Let's write it down clearly, constant. Okay, <clears throat> so T is time in years. So we have been given, given y is equal to 15. Initial means that t is equal to 0. Okay. So, we write uh, 15 is equal to c multiplied by e k to the power of multiplied by 0 because time is 0. Since, uh, so we can write this as 15 is equal to c since e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And thus, the amount left, amount of radium left after t years of decay, years of decay, is y is equal to 15 times e to the power of k times t, okay? We have been also given other information. If you read the problem, the initial quantity of small sample of radium is 15 grams. And uh, radio, uh, radioactive radium, the first sentence, has a half-life of approximately 1,599 years. That means the initial decay, uh, the initial quantity will decay to half its initial amount in 1599 years. So we can write in the next step, if I want to change the color of the ink, Initial amount, initial amount is 15 grams, 15 grams, half amount will be equal to 15 multiplied by half is 7.5 and that will, remember, <clears throat> so if I move this up a little bit. So decay is in 15. So it will become 7.5 grams in 15, 99 years. 
okay so 7.5 grams so we can write from the equation y is equal to 15 e to the power of kt 7.5 is equal to 15 e exponented power is k times 15 19 9 okay so we divide by 15 on both sides 7.5 divided by 15 is 15 over 15 e exponented 15 99 so this 15 cancels so half is equal to e k 15 99 okay so if i create some space you will see <coughs> um, taking <coughs> ln or natural logarithm of both sides <coughs> of both sides ln of half is equal to ln e and power is 1599k that's your exponent now oops so it is this so e1599 <coughs> k Now that means ln of half is equal to, I'll use a property of a logarithm. That means the exponent will become factors outside or multipliers outside. So 1599k is times ln of e. Now ln of e is one, okay? So that means ln of half is equal to 1599k or divide by 1599 on both sides. Please do not quit. I will give you some important tips at the end of this program. So just hang in there. So we get ln of half divided by 1599 is equal to 1599 divided by 1599 times k. Now this 1599 cancels with this 1599. So now I have to use my calculator to find ln of half, which is ln of 0.5. So I press the ln key in my calculator, then 0.5, okay? And then I divide that entire ln of 0.5 by 1599. And it is a very small number. So, this is fifteen ninety nine divided by fifteen ninety nine which cancels to become one. So K is ln of half divided by 15.99. And that is a very small number, minus negative to minus 0 0.000433. So the equation now becomes, if I move, uh, if I uh, move a little bit, uh, so you'll see, remember the equation, original equation was ek to the power of t, 15 ek to the power of t, or e to the power of kt. So this is the equation we are going to use. So y is equal to, so quantity of radium left, so quantity, of radium left after t years of decay of decay is 
y is equal to 15 e to the power of minus 0 0.000433 times t. Just I want to make sure that I wrote it correctly. Yep, I wrote it correctly. So that is the equation we are going to use. That is the equation for the radioactive decay of radium and the quantity left after t years of decay. Now we have been asked to find out how much radium will be left. So amount of radium left after 750 years of decay years of decay is y equal to 15 multiplied by natural number e raised to the power of minus 0 0.000433 times 750. So that becomes y is equal to 15 multiplied by natural number e raised to the power of 50 multiplied by 750 is minus 0 0.3251. Okay, so you can use your calculator to do this calculation. Just press in my calculator, I press second and second button and then ln button, which gives me the e power and the exponent for e. The national number is minus 0.3251. Okay, and I get that number and multiply it by 15 because it's 15 times that number, which is y is equal to 10.84. So after 750 grams, uh, years of decay, from 15 grams, it is reduced to 10.84 grams. Here you can understand how slow is the process of decay of radium. That's why radioactive weights, we have to be very careful how you handle them. In, for example, in nuclear power plants, because they don't decay too fast. That is the problem. Okay. Okay. So the answer is 10.84 grams from 15 grams in 750 years of decay. Okay. So let me walk with you what I did for the entire problem. Okay. So initially we were told that at the beginning, the small sample of radium is 15 grams. That means that T equal to zero, Y is 15 grams. So why do we need that information? Because we need to solve for the constant C and C works out to be 15. So Y, the final equation for the amount of radium left after T years of decay is 15 multiplied by E, natural number raised to the power of KT. Next goal is to solve for K. How do we do that? We have been given the half uh, life is 1599 grams, uh, 1599 years. In 1599 years, from 15 grams, it will be reduced to 7.5 grams. So we plug that information for Y 7.5 E uh, 15 multiplied by E, the national number raised to the power of K, and the time is. T is 1599 years. That way we solve for K, okay? And K is ln of half divided by 1599. So K is a negative number. Why it is negative? Because radium is slowly decaying. So it's an exponential decay. And the exponential factor is minus 0 0.000433. 
Okay, so that is the equation for the amount of radium left, which is y equal to 15 multiplied by e. Remember, e is a natural number. Exponent is minus 0 0.000433 times t. Now we have been asked to find how much of the initial 15 grams of radium will be left. Okay, uh, uh, or 30 grams of radium will be left. Okay. Uh, if it is allowed to decay for 750 years, okay? And, uh, sorry, initially it was 15 grams. How much of the initial 15 grams of radium will be left if it is allowed to decay for 750 years? And surprise, 10.84, almost 11 grams will be left out of 15 grams, even after 750 years of decay. Question is why? because the decay process is very slow. That's why we have to handle radioactive waste very carefully. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment. Do not hesitate to write me a note. I'll definitely answer all your comments, okay? Please write me a note. I love to read your notes, okay, or comments. I love to read your comments. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you do not like my video, give me a thumbs down. That tells me I have to improve, make improvements on my future videos. But however, if you like my TV, if this video, give me a thumbs up and please share this video with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And please do not forget to watch me tomorrow when I'll be back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.